this afternoon. I got uh, this panel and this wiggly panel on the other side welded in. Um, it was a slow morning. Uh, I had a doctor's appointment. Got my tetanus shot. Uh, my arm's gonna fall off. Then I got here and uh, edited the video from last week. I had forgotten my phone here over the weekend. It's an old phone I've been shooting the video with. Um, anyway, I forgot it here and had all the video on it, so I couldn't edit it over the weekend. Anyway, after that I got into the shop where it's uh, probably just above freezing. It's just above freezing outside. Uh, makes it kind of cold. So I'm in the process of fitting these these last two um, are these, these back four floor pieces. Let me show you what I'm running into. Um, so I, I, I this was straight across. I I scribed so it would fit straight, ground it down. Problem is when when that goes in there straight, which we give which would give a nice straight line along here. Um, this side over here ends up with this big gap down there. See that? So, um, if, I, if I move this way out here, ew, squeak, stay. If I move that down here um, at an angle, um, I can get this to line up and this to line up and then I end up with uh, well, that's probably three centimeters over there which I could scribe the line but then this this front part is going to be all wonky so hmm, not quite sure what I'm going to do with it yet um, very similar on, on, the, on the driver's side. Maybe it shows a bit better. I don't know. When it's... I got a nice tight fit there along the front. Yeah, there's a gap because they cut away the rusted spot. spot. Then when it's around the wheel well, um, it gets kind of big through there. And then this angle here it forms an angle. I push that straight up against the sill. Um, it tightens in against the wheel well nicely, um, but then I end up with this gap along the back, which I, I can, again, I can cut off, but um, then I'm going to end up with, uh, so, yeah, when I, when I cut it off, this side's it's not going to line up really well. Maybe I need, I need to cut both sides, I don't know. Anyway, that's just something I'm fighting with, that's how all these panels are. Um, I don't know how they designed them or what car they modeled them off of, but you know each one needs to be hand fit um, to to the to the car you're working on. Uh, it certainly beats trying to form this by hand. Anyway, I think I'll think about it overnight. So it's day 35, um, after lunch I've been making some progress this morning, we have a little patch down here and I got this part in down there, um, I think I figured out what I'm going to do with this little, this little gap down here, um, I decided it looks stupid if, if I did it like, kept this all tight and had that at a bad angle, so um, I can't live with it. What I'm going to do is change this angle. I'm going to slice it along here and push this over till it lines up. And then I'm either going to fill in uh, with a piece, with a tiny piece, or bridge the gap as I weld. Uh, depends on how much how much space I have to fill when I when I actually do that. That is the plan. Um, just got to get all these patches done first. I figured out I need eight millimeters uh, gap at the end here, down here. I have this over a clamped over a copper bar as a heat sink. Um, 
I just have a, a wedge cut and I push it in as far as I can. Um, and then I'll uh, weld it up. And that'll give me the angle I need. There, now that uh, that angle lines up. A little more to grind down that I just can't reach with the, with the angle grinder. I'll get that later. But uh, this side's fit in place. Now I think I can uh, weld it up. Good morning. It's day 36. I have a rust converter working on the uh, the back of the floor pan. So while that's doing its thing, I started working on the front. Um, let me show you what I've done. Uh, remember the in the front we have these nice holes. I, I've cut one of them out and started fitting up uh, the piece I bought from. From age spares. Um, here's what it looked like originally. That's the other side. I didn't need the whole thing, so I chopped it down a bit. Here we are on the bottom. Um, there you go. It fits in like that. Um, still not perfectly positioned, but uh, you get the idea. Um, I'm gonna have to do this outside bit too, but that'll come later. And of course, um, once you start digging, you find more. So I also have to replace this piece. Oh, where did it fall down to? There it is. That's what it looks like. It goes in there. Oops. Framing. It goes there. Uh, I'll uh, cut it out and weld it in place before I can put the, the floor part in. Oh, bit by bit. Gives me, because there's lots to work on. Um, if I get to a point where, I, you know, rust has to, rust converter has to sit or paint has to dry, I can move on to another bit. Always something to do. There's kind of a zen to TIG welding, and today I just don't have that zen. So I'm focusing on fabricating, uh, cutting out rusty bits, like this rusty bit. See all them extra holes? They're not supposed to be there. Um, I'm replacing it with new shiny metal. Um, I think I have enough zen in me to get this tacked in place. Zen. It's day 37. Also happens to be Thanksgiving if you're uh, in America. So uh, happy Thanksgiving. Um, today I'm very thankful to be able to work on this project. It's, uh, you know, every boy's dream to grow up and work on sports cars. Well, almost every boy's certainly was mine and here I am working on it so um, I have tomorrow off um, wife needs the car um, so I have a bunch of computer stuff to do anyway including editing this video so I'm gonna have the day off so today I have big goals um, what I want to do is finish up this this cockpit area I want to get this panel in place, this little patch panel in place, that panel in place, and this panel right there in place. I know that's a, that's a lot, it's a lot of welding, but um, 
I think it's doable. So most of these are already cut and fit um, to go in. They just need to uh, weld it up and of course priming the area that's, uh, that's underneath it. So that's the goal for today. We'll see how close we can get. Well, step one. I got the other uh, rear floor pan thing in. It was just just like the other one. I had to make the uh, the notch to get it to line up with the sill. But it's uh, it's in there. Cockpit has almost all new steel now. Um, next step is going to be this piece and then I can start working on the rest of the floor where the feet go. So I managed to get the uh, both little side panels uh, cut put in place and I checked it's uh, nice and straight up to here so corner must be here and guess what the panel doesn't fit um, yeah to, for the corner to be there and this to line up it's like half a mile back here so I, I'm not sure what I'm gonna do. Um, I might just make my own panel. Well, I'm about to call it a day. I uh, stopped and had some tea. And haven't come up with a solution. I'm probably gonna have to make one up from scratch for those front panels. So, with that frustration, I, uh, I didn't reach my goal for the day, but that happens sometimes. I have made good progress. I'm, I'm happy when I step back and look at everything. All, all the new panels in place. Um, the floor is starting to come together. It's starting to look like a car again. Pretty amazing. Anyway. We'll call that a day. Happy Thanksgiving. If you like this video, click the like button below. If you want to come along on the ride as we complete this project, click the subscribe button. If you want to make sure Google reminds you every time there's a new video, click the alarm bell. Your support is very much appreciated.